मैडम इट इज़ माई प्रिविलेज टू इनिशिएट ए डिस्कशन ऑन नेशनल हाउसिंग पॉलिसी इन दिस ऑगस्ट हाउस फूड क्लोथिंग एंड शेल्टर आर रिकॉगनाइज एज बेसिक नेसेसिटीज ऑफ लाइफ द कंट्री हैज बीन एबल टू अचीव सेल्फ सफिशियंसी इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फूड ग्रेन्स एंड क्लोथ A lot yet remains to be done on the shelter front. The estimates committee of the Eighth Lok Sabha had recommended in the report for the year 2005-6 that the government should evolve a national housing policy for a planned development of livable human settlements. The concern of the government for housing the poor led to the enunciation of a comprehensive national housing policy which expounds the main objectives priorities and strategies for promoting sustained development of housing The national housing policy was formulated after taking into consideration the views and suggestions of the state governments, union territories as well as certain institutions and expert bodies which have an abiding interest in the subject. The draft document was also endorsed by the conference of state housing ministers held in 2007 at Srinagar. Before I enunciate the main features of the policy document, I would like to give the honorable members a brief idea of the achievements during the last two decades. under various social housing schemes promoted by the government about 6 lakh houses have been constructed by different state housing agencies till the end of march 2005 in addition to this 1 lakh houses have been constructed for other income groups 40000 units for plantation workers and over 6 lakh units by different cooperative housing societies under my ministry's directions hudco has since its inception sanctioned over 5600 schemes in almost all the states and union territories at a project cost of about rupees 4600 crores till the end of october 2008 this will result in the construction of about 14 lakh dwelling units in urban areas and 15 lakh dwelling units in rural areas the hudco has also been supporting the sites and services schemes on a large scale over 2 lakh developed plots will be provided as a result of hudco loans so far the finance institutions like lic gic and the unit trust of india are also providing substantial funds annually for the construction of dwelling units the policy document outlines the main goals to be achieved in housing by the turn of the century and states the basic objectives priorities and the main target groups which it intends to focus on appropriate strategies are envisaged for implementing and translating the policy into reality within a definite time frame needless to say housing finance and availability of serviced land are the major desiderata of a quantum jump in housing it is hoped that 
हुडको एंड द रिसेंटली एस्टेब्लिश्ड नेशनल हाउसिंग बैंक विल हेल्प इन ग्रेटर फ्लो ऑफ फंड्स फॉर क्रिएशन ऑफ न्यू हाउसिंग स्टॉक एज ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स नो पॉइंट्स 14 एंड 15 ऑफ द रिवाइज्ड 20 पॉइंट प्रोग्राम ले considerable emphasis on housing for the economically weaker sections in urban areas and for the landless workers in rural areas during the past 8 years more than 82 lakh plots have been allotted to the landless workers in rural areas and 34 lakh such families have been given construction assistance nearly 156 lakh slum dwellers have been benefited under the scheme of environmental improvement of urban slums and 14 lakh dwelling units were constructed under the housing scheme for economically weaker sections in urban areas under the indira awas yojana 4 lakh dwelling units have been constructed for the scheduled castes scheduled tribes and freed bonded laborers in rural areas efforts are on to strengthen these programs with the setting up of national housing bank under the aegis of reserve bank of india a major landmark has been achieved in the housing finance institutional framework it will coordinate with various sources of housing finance regulate functions of housing finance institutions at different levels and augment the flow of funds for housing by different income groups all over the country regional housing finance institutions like housing promotion and finance corporation limited calcutta have been established with a view to providing a sound housing finance network at regional level one more corporation for the northern region is being set up you may be aware that the reserve bank of india has also liberalized the lending norms of the commercial banks for increased flow of finance to individuals for new constructions and repairs the amount of loan admissible has been enhanced by reducing the margin required to be provided by the beneficiaries the interest rate has been reduced by 1% for loans up to rupees 1 lakh also the period of repayment of housing loans has been enhanced from 10 to 15 years further where mortgage of property or government guarantee is not feasible banks have been permitted to accept other forms of security for loans for ensuring easy access to standardized building materials and components and establishment of supply centers on a decentralized basis a centrally sponsored scheme for setting up of a national network for of building centers has been launched during the current year 100 centers are to be established which will act as conduits for transmission of low cost technology on housing to the grassroots level and impart requisite training to youth and artisans till now 18 centers have been completed and another 57 are nearing completion to eradicate house lessness in urban areas the central government has started a scheme in major cities with the objective of providing shelter to pavement dwellers under this scheme 
a small beginning has been made by the sanction of rupees 34 lakhs to cover 850 pavement dweller households in kolkata a proposal to cover 6500 pavement dweller households in chennai at a cost of rupees 4 crores is under scrutiny